Hello, in this video I will talk about my capstone project for the VR360 mobile nano degree. I will start with the achievements. We will first talk about the scale, animation, lightning, locomotion and physics. In the scale, the, 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 the story of my game takes place in the Roman era where Quidditch and basketball get mixed in a game to the appeal of the public. So I decided to make the arena way bigger than the player like you can see here and yes in this scene the player is moving from the one point to another using the waypoint movement which helps in the locomotion so here we used waypoint movement in the scaling you can see in the arena where the arena is much bigger than the player and the player is almost the same size as all of its enemies so yeah this is the scale the animation I decided to use an idea animation of a fighter moving his hands in the air and I used an, the animation for the enemy as well and also for the shooting which we will see Also there is another way of motion which I used which is using the joystick sticks or the W, A, S and D for the keyboard. Uh, why I use joystick? Because I want the game to be playable on phone using joysticks to enable more controls. So yeah, here we can select one of the fighters. Let's select the flying one. And here I can move with W, A, S and D and I can click space to fly. Why can I fly? Because I selected the flying hero. So this is the local motion using the axes. Now let's talk about the light. In this scene I used two light sources and, and many other scenes as well. You will see the same light sources. I use a directional light to represent the sun and it has the mode of real time and the arena light which has baked. As for the AI, I decided to make one enemy player and maybe extend it then for a flocking algorithm. The enemy is controlled with an animator which represents a state machine. It starts with the enemy looking for the ball at the beginning of the game and if it gets the ball first, we move to AI has ball. The purpose of AI has ball is to move towards the goal and shoot. And if the player has the ball, like you see, it begins to shoot at me. So let's see if AI has the ball, what will it, what it will do? As you can see, the player, the, the enemy moves towards the ball, grabs the ball, and shoots in the goal. Continuing where we left off, now we need to prove there is physics and collisions. So yeah, as you can see, there is a complex physics, and if I grab the ball, and decide to shoot the wall it will bounce right off the wall and same if I want to shoot in the goal as you can see I can score also the enemy can shoot me with bullets which prove that I have collision and I move to due to that collision also I can shoot the enemy as well let's try to score on my goal and yeah and the enemy steals my ball 